Hi, I'm Jack from industrialtechstore.co.uk and this is going to be a quick look at our EO5 collaborative robot. As you can see, the size is quite compact. And it's a super high quality device. And this actual one has one meter reach and it can lift 10 kilograms too. So what I want to show you is that this build cell, I'm a novice. I have guys that work in here at Industrial Tech Store that are super highly qualified in programming, building this kind of thing. But I took on the challenge to do this myself. And in two weeks, I was able to build the build cell. I am a product designer. I'm not an industrial designer and I don't know too much about electronics. So making of the table and all the sheet metal components was very easy for me. But I took on the challenge to install the robot, to cut and produce these as a challenge. And like I said, two weeks and I made it happen. So I'm gonna give you a quick insight to how it moves, what it can do, and a quick look at the controller because there's some code in here and features I wanna improve. So I'm gonna show you the whole story. So let's go. So I'm gonna press start. So it inserts the PVC tube and cuts it. It's quite a long wait there, so that's where we're gonna stop and change the code to be quicker. Over at that workstation, the robot inserts the tube into the capping device and takes it out and over to the laser engraver. It's very simple to program the robot. You program each waypoint and then you can do if statements once it gets there or to trigger outputs. Super easy to program. That was one of the features I really loved about the system. It made my job as a novice very easy. So what we're gonna do, we'll let this run this one and then I'm gonna show you the touchscreen controller to show you how I'm gonna change the code to make that quicker. And there you go, I stopped the beam, so we must press continue. So there's a really easy touchscreen controller with drag and drop. I'm gonna to go to the specific program where we have that delay. So you can see all the waypoints where it moves along and then it calls a close function. That's where it will close the gripper, open the gripper. Super easy. So right down here, I've got set electric output CO0, it's numbered to high. What that does, that fires the air solenoid that puts the blade down, which cuts the tube. And then right below it, I've got weight, 2,500. So that's milliseconds, so that's 2.5 seconds. So if we change that, we need to stop the program. So we need to stop the program. And I'll change that to 1.75 seconds. And that's updated. All I need to do now is run the program again. Again, we're gonna see that activate a lot quicker. So as easy as that, it's so intuitive to change things, adapt things, adjust the program. Such a wonderful thing. It's almost like a toy and you're gonna love it. So I wanna briefly talk to you about sensors and inputs for the buttons. Super easy again. So this sensor here is a color sensor. So that's detecting the white from the tube. All it is, NPN style of sensor. So if you look up proximity switch, color sensor, any type of sensor, even these safety sensors, NPN type 24 volt, two wires go into the control box and it's simple as that. And same for the buttons. Normally open buttons, I actually bought these off Amazon for this project, it's so easy. Two wires straight into the input on the touchscreen control. We just select that input as the start, stop, pause button. It's super easy. It's very, very user friendly. So it's super high accurate. It's rated to 0.1 repeated accuracy. And the service life is 33,000 hours. So that will generally give you 12 hours a day running for eight years solid. Great investment if you've got a task that's very repeatable and we have a range of so many different grippers, suction cups, to undertake any task that a human does that's repeated, this can do it. And this is an exact example here with these tubes because in my factory we used to have someone doing this for two hours a day but not anymore now the robot just runs performs that task 
and it was a fun learning experience putting it all together. So we currently have a range of five sizes and that's from 800 millimeter reach all the way to 1.3 meters and different weight loading as well. So please check out our website, industrialtechstore.co.uk and let us know if we can help you with any of your projects that you want to get a robot involved in helping you do your job. Thank you very much.